Hi, everybody. Hello. We're going to wait a little bit for everybody to get in here. <laughs> What's going on, Aaron? We're just waiting on everybody to join in. <laughs> Getting ready to start trivia, guys. Who we got here? <laughs> Kayla. Just waiting on a couple more people. Get started here in about five minutes. See a couple people from the Sanford Church. Hi, Brady. Almost there. Can't read that. Hi, Amber. Leanne, no cheating tonight. Bishop Reinhardt on here. AKA Grandpa. AKA Grandpa. <laughs> How many we got so far? 16. You want to go ahead and start explaining some ground rules? All right. Welcome to Trivia, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and Jordan are going to ask you guys some questions. We're going to have a couple of easy ones, a decent amount of medium ones, and then a couple really hard ones. It's going to be 20 questions. We're going to read them back and forth. We're going to read each one two times, and then we're going to send it in the chat so it's also there. Now, no cheating. No phones, no internet. Don't do it. Um, and please do not put the answers in the comments on the live chat. We'll go over the answers at the end. Is that about it? All right, and then so I'm going to need you guys to send me, you're going to pick a spokesperson for your team, and they're going to send in the group chat what your team name is and how many of you are on your team. Make some clever names. <laughs> Very clever. Because then we're going to keep track of it, so send me your name and how many people are in your group, and I'll log it all down, and then we'll ask some questions. At the end of the chat and the game, um, there will be gifts for the highest score. Oh, yeah. Gift cards. <laughs> you might not be able to use them right now, but. So, how many we got left? I think we're, uh. So, you guys just go ahead and get your team names, send them over in the chat. And tonight's topic is the book of Joshua and Judges. So, we gave you a hint. Hope you read up. Because I made these questions. Hello, Cam. So, we're playing trivia. And so, you're going to send me your team name or your name. And we're going to ask questions. And me and Jordan are going to go back and forth. And you're going to write down your answers. Don't send them in the chat because then people will see, and then at the end we'll go over the answers. Sound good? Give us a thumbs up if everybody gets what's going on. All right. You guys can uh, 
Just keep sending your team names. We're going to go ahead and get started. We'll get all of them logged down at the end. And we're going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> and so, question number one. Who led the Israelites for 40 years in the wilderness before Joshua? Again, who led the Israelites for 40 years in the wilderness before Joshua? You guys just make sure you write your answers down on a piece of paper. And if you didn't catch the question or you need to catch up because you're getting in late, they're going to be in the group chat. Last time again, question number one was who led the Israelites for 40 years in the wilderness before Joshua? And yes, we are talking about judges. So we're going to give you about 15 seconds to get your answers, and we'll move on to the next question. Question number two. All right. So, number two. What city did Joshua and the Israelites march around before the walls came crumbling down? Number two again. What city did Joshua and the Israelites march around before the walls came crumbling down? And we're not talking about Bob the Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Veggie tips, Joe. If they put the answer, I'm going to hide it. All right, guys, remember, do Please, not... Greg, do not put the answers in the comments. This is trivia. We're going over the answers at the end. Your answers will be hidden. Question number three. What item did the Ark of the Covenant contain other than Aaron's budding rod and a pot of manna? Again, what item did the Ark of the Covenant contain other than Aaron's budding rod and a pot of manna? And just for the people that are joining in late, um, if you guys are playing, please send us a team name in the chat and get a pen and paper and write down your answers and we'll go over them at the end and then we'll get scores. We're on the honor system here, so we're just going to try to believe you and try not to put the answers in the comments. We're going to go over the answers at the end, and you want the most points. If it's in the comments, it won't count, because then everybody's got it. And I want to see some clean, clever team names out there. Ten-point bonus to the best name. <laughs> All right, question four. All right, question four. Who helped the two Israelite spies enter into Jericho? All right, number four again. Who helped the two Israelite spies enter into Jericho? And then it's going to go up in the comments. I ain't got no rhythm. <laughs> Question number five. All right, so just a reminder, because people are still joining on, make sure you have a piece of paper and you're writing down your answers so that we can go over and see everybody's points in the end. Don't put them in the comments so that nobody else can see. And we're going to do number five. So... How many days did it take for the walls of Jericho to fall? 
Um, again, number five, how many days did it take for the walls of Jericho to fall? All right, question number six. Now, this questions are going to start getting a little harder now. What city did Joshua fail to conquer with 3,000 men? Again, what city did Joshua fail to conquer with 3,000 men? Mark, if you don't believe so, you better get a 20 out of 20 then. And no phones. Again, what city did Joshua fail to conquer with 3,000 men? Question number seven. All right. Question seven. What did Samson use to kill a thousand Philistines? Again, question seven. What did Samson use to kill a thousand Philistines? Make sure you're writing down your answers. And there will be a gift card for the winner. It'll be worth it. Question number eight. This is for all my ladies out there. Who was the only woman judge? Again, who was the only woman judge in the Bible? Hi, Alicia. Miss you. You know Tony ain't getting no 20 out of 20. <laughs> All right, question number nine. Which river did the Israelites cross into the promised land? Again, which river did the Israelites cross into the promised land? We'll give you a hint. <laughs> it's your favorite person on the screen right now. Okay. That's the only hint you're getting for the night. Sure. <laughs> Which river did the Israelites cross into the promised land? I wonder how many Tory rivers there are. <laughs> <laughs> question number 10. All right, question 10. Where did Rahab hide Joshua's spies? Again, number 10. Where did Rahab hide Joshua's spies? Hey, Rusty. Question 10 was, where did Rahab hide Joshua's spies? All right. Question 11. Who was the left-handed judge? Again, who was the left-handed judge? Pastor Tim preached on this once. So for everybody to connect, 
Don't disappoint me. <laughs> Be sitting here next to us. All right, question number 12. This is a multiple choice answer. So just write down the letter of which one you think it is in your answers. At the river, which group of soldiers did Gideon keep? Hint, only 300 made it. Answer A, those who did not drink. Answer B, those who lapped the water up like a dog. It's a little weird, ain't it? And C, those who knelt to drink. Or D, those who looked both ways before they drank. Again, at the river, which group of soldiers did Gideon keep? A, those who didn't drink. B, those who lapped the water up like a dog. C, those who knelt to drink. Or D, those who looked both ways before they drank, like crossing the road. You gotta look both ways? Mm-hmm. <laughs> question 13. All right, question 13. How did Rahab let the invading Israelites know to spare her house? All right, remember to write these down and not in the comments. We still have people joining, so welcome. All right, number 13 again. How did Rahab let the invading Israelites know to spare her house? Oops. All right, number 14. What animal did Samson kill with his bare hands? All right, again. Number 14, what animal did Samson kill with his bare hands? Now we're about to get into the hard questions. These last five are a doozy. They're tough. As we like to call it down south. <laughs> Everybody ready? Give us some thumbs up if you're ready for the last five. And if you're joining late, you can still write down your answers. The questions are all in the chat box, so you can catch up and write your answers down. And here we go. Question 15. What did the woman use to kill the Philistine general Sisera? This is a hard one. <laughs> Again, what did the woman use to kill the Philistine general Sisera? Mom, that's not how you do thumbs up, but we'll take it. <laughs> Once again, what did the woman use to kill the Philistine General Sisera? Great story. Question number 16. Another multiple choice answer. Joshua was buried north of what mountain? A. Mount Gash B. Mount Ebal C. Mount Hor or D. Mount Tabor Question 16. Joshua was buried north of what mountain? A. Mount Gash B. Mount Ebal C. Mount Hor or D. Mount Tabor I don't know if you guys can hear our elevator music. It's quite <laughs> soothing. Hour and a half of it. <laughs> Go ahead and do uh, 17 too. All right, number 17. How old was Joshua when he died? All right, number 17. How old was Joshua when he died? He wasn't quite Methuselah. <laughs> All right, 
point one last time. Number 17, how old was Joshua when he died? All right. Now on to number 18. How much silver did each Philistine ruler offer to give Delilah if she discovered the secret of Samson's strength? All right, that's a wordy one, so I'm going to read it again. Number 18. How much silver did each Philistine ruler offer to give Delilah if she discovered the secret of Samson's strength? The secret was not coronavirus. <laughs> coronavirus! <laughs> <laughs> Forgive us. We've been stuck in this house for two weeks. We're suffering immensely. And it's snowing. It is snowing. It's too cold for me. It's supposed to be summer. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Alyssa. All right, question number 19. What two descendants of Joseph became tribes of Israel? This is a two-part answer. What two descendants of Joseph became tribes of Israel? Again, what two descendants of Joseph became tribes of Israel? Sorry. YouTube's not free. It has ads. <laughs> and finally, question 20. Where did Joshua cast lots to determine the size of land the remaining tribes of Israel would get. Again, where did Joshua cast lots to determine the size of the land the remaining tribes of Israel would get? And that should have been question 20. So now go ahead. You guys go through your answers real quick. No phones. Make sure we get your team names. You can send over. We're going to go through the team names real quick. Right, make sure you have your questions 1 through 20 answered. So who we got. Mm -hmm. A lot of individuals. Huh? A lot of people are just individuals. No Googling. That's right, Mom. Don't be using that Alexa. <laughs> Brighty Scrabble Queen. Mm -hmm. The Scrabble Queen. <laughs> Dalton and Kayla. Chicken and biscuits. Chicken and biscuits. Or no. Biscuits, biscuits and, gravy. and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Okay, sorry. Either way, I like them both. We'll give you guys another minute to get your team names in. If your team name is not in within the next minute, you will not be considered for the gift card. Kidding. If you're alone, you don't have to make up a name for yourself. It's okay. I promise. It's okay. You got that 20 out of 20 mark? You said they weren't going to be hard. It's Mark's name. Mark said, did we get his name? What the is winnies. Mark's name? The Winnies. The Winnies. Right? Oh, Pooh Bear. You're like Samson, you like honey. Do you see that one? The Michelonians? <laughs> Michelonians. <laughs> Pastors to an angel. Mitchell. <laughs> Michelonians. Michelonians sounds like, like they could have lived back in this time. You might have been one of the people that conquered the Israelites. All right, is everybody ready to go over their answers? Give us some hearts, thumbs ups, laugh remarks. If we made you mad because you didn't know the answers, give us an angry face. All right, here we go. Question one, who led the Israelites for 40 years into the wilderness before Joshua? The answer was Moses. 
Question two. Again, question one's answer was Moses. Go ahead and go on to number two. All right, number two. What city did Joshua and the Israelites m march around before the walls came crumbling down? The answer is Jericho. And the walls came crumbling down. Nobody remember that VeggieTale song? <laughs> Am I the only one? So again, the answer to number two. What city did Joshua and the Israelites march around before the walls came crumbling down? The answer is Jericho. Question number three. What item did the Ark of the Covenant contain other than Aaron's budding rod and a pot of manna? The answer was the Ten Commandments. Not one, not two, the Ten. Ten Commandments. Again, what item did the Ark of the Covenant contain other than Aaron's budding rod and a pot of manna? The answer was the Ten Commandments. You guys can also go ahead and start answering them in the comments now if you want. Make sure you write down the ones you got right. Keep yep, track of yep. it. Honor system. <laughs> All right, number four. Who helped the two Israelite spies enter into Jericho? The answer is Rahab. Rahab. <laughs> number four again. Who helped the two Israelite spies enter into Jericho? The answer is Rahab. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're all getting it now. Oh, number five. How many days did it take for the walls of Jericho to fall? The answer is seven. Seven days. Again, how many days did it take for the walls of Jericho to fall? The answer is seven days. Seven. And if you put one week, it doesn't count. <laughs> Just kidding. And that was your five easy ones. <laughs> Question number six. What city did Joshua fail to conquer with 3,000 men? The city of AI. And no, not artificial intelligence. I was going to type it. Again, what city did Joshua fail to conquer with 3,000 men? AI. There you go, Bridie. Good job. Mambo. Number seven. <laughs> Number seven. What did Samson use to kill 1,000 Philistines? The answer is the jawbone of a donkey. All right, again. Number seven. What did Samson use to kill 1,000 Philistines? The answer is a jawbone of a donkey. There you go, Alicia. I see you, girl. Oh, yeah. Definitely not a left pinky finger, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good guess, though, Mark. Question eight. This one was for the ladies. <laughs> Who was the only woman judge? All the single ladies. Who was the only woman judge? Deborah. Her name was Deborah. She was the only woman judge in the book of Judges in the entire Bible. You gotta give them some credit every once in a while. I'm gonna get slapped after this. Number nine. Which river did the Israelites cross into the promised land? The Jordan. Jordan River. Because I'm the favorite. Yeah, that one's a fake. That one's definitely a fake. Oh, yeah. Which river did the Israelites cross into the promised land? The Blake Shelton. Or Jordan River. <laughs> Get it? He does the finger. The Susquehanna. I like that one. I don't think so. That river's too dirty. <laughs> I don't even think Jesus would want to walk on top of it. <laughs> All right. Number 10. Where did Rahab hide Joshua's spies? The answer is on her roof. <laughs> and it wasn't on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Score! I am my father's son. <laughs> Score! Yeah. Ugh. Number 10. 
Where did Rahab you hide just Joshua's that. spies? I'm reading it again. Oh, okay, okay. Clarification, Jordan. You read your answers multiple times. Clarification pronunciation? The answer to 10 is on her roof. Question 11. Who was the left-handed judge? And no, that is not my right hand. The camera's just backwards. <laughs> Question 11. Who was the left-handed judge? His name was Ehud. E-H-U-D. Ehud. If you have a chance, go look up the story. They had a really fat king. Question 11's answer was Ehud. All right. Almost there. Question 12. This was the multiple choice question. At the river, which group of soldiers did Gideon keep? Your hint was only 300 made it. And no, this wasn't Sparta. The answer was B, those who lapped the water like the dog. Because they were the crazy ones. They didn't care what people were thinking. They didn't look side to side. Again, the answer was B, those who lap, lap the water like a dog. A dog. 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 A dog. A dog. dog. <laughs> Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? <sighs> Number 13. How did Rahab let the invading Israelites know to spare her house? The answer is they tied a red rope in her window. Right? Again, the answer to 13 is they tied a red rope in her window. And for all the connect people, didn't the pastor just come around and tie some red rope around yours? Double meaning. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number 14. What animal did Samson kill with his bare hand? That was mine. It says J. Look right there. You scratch it out and put a T. Well, the answer is a lion. My bad. It's my a question. Lion. A lion. Roar. Not the bear. Not the bear. He killed the bear too. No. That was David. All right. That was David. Pastor's yeah. saying he also killed a bear. Yeah. So Pastor just said that Samson a little killed bit a bear. Of a date here. I'm pretty sure that was David. Pretty sure that was David. If I'm right, ugh, looks like y'all got a new pastor. I don't like being in the middle of this. We're going to go on to number 15. <laughs> this was one of my favorite story in Judges. He didn't. What did the woman use to kill the Philistine general Sisera? Again, what did the woman use to kill the Philistine general Sisera? A tent stake. Good old bagink. <laughs> That's why they call them Judges. <laughs> bagink. <laughs> Again, the answer is a tent stake. Were you wrong? I was wrong. Pastor was wrong. No, I don't. Well, mm, well he thinks. That's the, that's I know. the census we're taking. I knew when they when they when they talk about he killed it with a bare hand. He it was the lion. He killed the lion with his bare hands. Yeah. He did probably kill a bear, but with yes. his bare hands, no, killed it was the to lion. kill the lion. It was. Anyways, it was you're right. Yeah, One knee, the zero. Wording. The word. Question sixteen. Joshua was buried north of what mountain? Joshua was buried north of what mountain? Answer was A, Mount Gash. Or Gosh, if you watch Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> and the answers are being put in the comments. So if you miss one, you can go back and check your answers. Make sure you're keeping track of what you got right. No mark, it was not a long dagger. There goes your 20 out of 20. Really? Question 17. How old was Joshua when he died? The answer is 110 years old. Still way older than I'll be. <laughs> Again, the answer to number 17 is 110 years old. And still 800 years younger than Methuselah. <laughs> number 18. How much silver did each Philistine ruler offer to give Delilah if she discovered the secret of Samson's strength? The answer is 1,100 pieces. That's a lot. 1,100 pieces of silver each? Lot, 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 lot. So once again, the answer to 18 was 1,100 pieces. 
Number 19. What two descendants of Joseph became a tribe of Israel? Again, what two descendants of Joseph, coat of many colors, became two of, of the tribes of Israel? Answer was Ephraim and Manasseh. Again, Ephraim and Manasseh was the answer to number 19. Number 20. Where did Joshua cast lots to determine the size of land that the tribes of Israel were going to get? Does anybody know? Let's see if I hit it in the comments real quick. Hurry up. Hurry up. Give me some thumbs up. Let's see who knows first. Come on. We're not seeing an answer. Where did Joshua cast lots to determine the size of the land remaining for tribes of Israel who had not received their inheritance? Ooh, it was Shiloh. Shiloh. And not Shiloh LaBeouf. <laughs> Shiloh. Ooh, sorry, Mark. All right, and that was our 20 questions. All right, now start sending your send your scores your over. Score, and if you make sure if you send a team name that you send your team name with your score, so we make sure it's all set up right. So only one person send your score if you're with the team. And we'll come back with a post to declare the winner. That'll probably be the easiest thing, so we can kind of get everybody together. Jordan, while they're typing in, they wanted they want you to tell the story. The story. Mom, Mom said to tell the story. That you told earlier. Of uh, Cicero? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing. The tent stake. Um, the judge at the time was the Judge Deborah. Deborah, however you want to say it. I don't know. I didn't live then. But the leader of the Israelite army had come to her and they were getting ready to go to war. And Deborah told him, she said, You were going to lead the Israelites into victory. And you need to have faith and this and that. Well, he came back and said, I'm not going to go to war unless you're by my side. So Deborah looked at him and said, well, because you have little faith, the victory for the Israelites is going to go to a woman. And so Deborah went with him to battle. The Israelites won the battle. But meanwhile, the general of the Philistines fled. His name was Sisera. And he went into this outsider's camp. They were not related to the Israelites. And he was hiding out there. And the one lady of the house came to him and gave him a glass of milk and said, Here, this will calm you. And as he went to sleep, she, he fell asleep on her lap. And she came over with the good old tent stake in the mountain. Through the skull. And she was credited with freeing the Israelites. Violent. Messy. I like it. I like your bedroom. All right, I've got some of your scores. Keep sending them. We looking like we have some serious tying going on. Oh no! Right now we have a three-way tie, and they're all really good team names. So it's not like we can. Domuses, we need your name. score. B and G, we need your score. Bishop Brinehart, we need your score. Biscuits and gravy, where you at? Greg and Jill. Keep sending them. Huh? Yeah, her name was Jay. I can't I can't say her name. That's why I didn't say jail. It sounds like I'm saying prison. J A E L. J oh. And I just want to say thanks to everybody that tuned in. Everyone knows, you know, <laughs> with all this going on, it's important for us to stay connected and together. We were talking about maybe having a secret co-host. Yeah. The next one. We're going to be doing this every week, by the lead. way. Every week, Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Keep sending but, them. We're still missing a few. But... Oh, some people were tying. <laughs> That's a good one. 
The elevator riders. That's a good one. <laughs> elevator riders, because of the music. Aaron, you're my soulmate, man. All Remember, right. I did I did offer bonus points for the best name. So does that so does that put them at a fourteen? Yeah. So they're second place. Elevator riders, you got the best name, so you got an extra point. All right, so it looks like Bishop, aka Grandpa, is our first place winner. And we're doing first place and second place prizes. Which, of course, is not surprising. And then in second place, we have got the Elevator Riders. But because of their good but name, because it was a 13-point tie between the Elevator Riders, the Scrabble Queen, a.k.a. Variety, and the and Michelonians. <laughs> Stuart Hazel. So I get you're... it, Smith Smithsonian. It's because you're ancient. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm you just kidding. Not. I love you. I love Batch, too. <laughs> you are full of life. All right, so those are our two winners. We will get with you in the messenger to get your gift cards to you. Does Brady have a bonus point? What'd oh. she say? What was her what? All right, that means second place is tied between we elevator a, riders and Scrabble Queen. So we got three way. We'll be sending them out. <laughs> that means we have three winners. What was the oh from last night? Bishop forfeited. <laughs> oh, Grandpa forfeited. Oh. All right, well, we're still keeping three winners. We got Elevator Fine. Riders, Scrabble Grandpa, Queen, and prize, the Michelonians. All three of you. I decided. All right. I think that's going to wrap this up. Um, we are doing this Thursday. <laughs> Next week, 6.30. The topic is going to be in the beginning. In the beginning. Genesis. Genesis. <laughs> Read it. Go on YouTube. Review it. Because there's going to be some hard ones next week. I took it easy on you this week. <laughs> All right. We All love right. you guys. Um, we had fun. Yep. You want to pray before we leave? Take it away, Judge. All right. God, we thank you for allowing us to be able to come together with our church family, our sister church family. It's good for all of us as we're all isolated, but we're all together at the same time, and we thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Toodles! You'll be getting some gifts. See you later. Love you guys. Bye. See you soon. No, we don't know how to end it. Bye. <laughs> I know you guys all love to see me, so I'll just stay here.